Today, I am going to be revealing not one, not two, but seven different Shopify stores and e-commerce brands, which not only went viral with Google ads, but earned millions and millions of dollars per month in revenue as a result. Now, a lot of e-commerce store owners just believe that going viral is a common thing with Facebook ads, going viral is a common thing with TikTok. However, a lot of people don't really know how to go viral with Google ads or that it's even possible to go viral but from the Shopify stores I'm about to reveal to you today I hope you can make a lot of changes on your own e-commerce brand on your own strategy when it comes to Google Ads so you do end up going viral just like these e-commerce brands but let's get right into it and make sure to watch until the end because some of these e-commerce brands they're pretty crazy so the number one e-commerce brand which I always basically talk about in a lot of my Shopify videos and also which has gone viral is no other e-commerce brand than toybox.com now the reason why i said i talk about this often is because every single video if you watch my other youtube videos and if you haven't already subscribed make sure to subscribe for a lot of google ads related content but every single video is an example of a 3d printer in some way shape and form and if you go back far enough you will notice that in almost every single video this brand toy box has always been there maybe number one maybe number two but somewhere between number one and number Number five it's really insane how an e-commerce brand can stay in a similar position for so long but that just kind of verifies my doubts about whether toy box is really making or money or not and the answer is yes toy box is making money and that too a lot of money and if we go on over to a special website called semrush.com and search up toy box we can see exactly how this brand is performing overall so it does look like in the recent time periods they might have been sort of a stagnant period in terms of organic traffic however if we looked at paid search traffic this is all google ads related traffic we can see there has been a little bit of a growth now keep in mind SEM rush there is basically not a hundred percent accurate information when it comes to shopping listings when it comes to even search ads for that matter so really take this with a grain of salt however looking at the overall trajectory based on paid search toy box is going in the positive direction and again a lot of the videos toy box is always there as i mentioned which makes this one of the most viral websites when it comes to google ads that i've seen to date now you might be thinking what does toy box do differently than a normal e-commerce store owner how do they scale so well with google ads and let me tell you it's not all just about bidding high or just having a high quality score definitely those things make a huge impact don't get me wrong however toy box makes a big use of the other things which i always go over in my videos number one thing i always mention to not copy other brands when it comes to google ads when it comes to looking at your competitors and exactly what they are doing and toy box does this perfectly just by looking at their overall product image and i mean it can be a little bit better because they do have some sort of text on the top left which i don't really think is the ideal situation but nonetheless their overall brand picture their overall product itself is much much different than the other 3d printers so right from the image itself toy box does a great job of trying to stand out of the crowd and that is one of the best ways to really make your brand go viral easily number two thing which a lot of other people do is they mimic other people's products they mimic other factors of success like the overall title of the product the overall description etc and let me tell you there has been not a single e-commerce brand out there that has made it to seven figures a month seven figures a year that has just copied other people it just doesn't work out that way because if it did a lot of e-commerce drop shippers who just copy everybody and also unfortunately those who copied me would be successful but that's not the case and with toy box this is demonstrated perfectly their description if you look at some of the other competitors here it's much different they start out with a video at the very top followed by some text and have a very very clean professional sleek layout with some kind of with a little trust badge and i consider this a trust badge which says as seen on shark tank which not a lot of other e-commerce stores really have so from the product image itself to the actual landing page everything even though it follows a very very similar layout to a lot of other Shopify stores has its own unique twists to it which is exactly what you want to be doing if you want to be going viral and there are three things you want to keep in mind when it comes to viral e-commerce brands with Google Ads number one thing they're viral because they have a consistent stream of income coming in number two they are also viral because something is working on their end in regards 
regards to the product itself. So if you don't have the right product, no matter what you do, it's going to be extremely difficult for you to go viral with your e-commerce brand. But number three, their entire sales funnel is kicking in. All you see right now is the ad itself. All you see right over here is the landing page. But what you don't see is the back end. What you don't see are all of the email flows firing immediately when you interact in some way, shape or form with this brand. What you don't see are all of the SMS flows that just get triggered once you try to check out but end up leaving the checkout page. So all of these things, it's kind of like a well oiled machine. They're working together to really make Toybox a full on viral brand with Google Ads. But again, Toybox is the number one brand you want to kind of be looking into. And again, in the beginning of this video, I said, do not try to copy anything. So just because you see Toybox here doing well, do not go in and copy anything because to be honest with you, all of the layout is just basically a basic Shopify theme. I think they're even using a free theme. So this just tells you that you don't necessarily need a paid theme in order to go viral with Google Ads. All you really need is the right kind of product, the right kind of layout when it comes to the images, especially with Google SEO. Of course, never forget SEO. I almost forgot that, but never forget SEO and make sure all of your other factors from the actual product page to maybe going to the cart page and looking at it right here to also going to the checkout page everything flows properly everything is in a correct manner and of course nothing is slow so one thing i see that toybox can improve is their speed to the checkout page it loaded very very slowly but as you can see this just confirms that this is a full-on shopify store nonetheless a very good brand and one that has gone viral let's move on to brand number two and it is two lots.com now there was a time when two lots was actually a direct competitor of mine at least that's what i thought at that time later i realized that two lots is actually actually a multi-million dollar brand and does multi-million dollars per month in sales but at that time I was selling a lot of similar products with my main e-commerce brand which I just released a video on which is this 2.5 million dollars in sales within these past two and a half years you want to check that video out after this one but two lots nonetheless had a lot of things going right during that time period such as their overall shopping listings how they kind of structure their titles all of those things and they ended up going really viral so before we actually dive into the actual product page let's go on to SEM rush to tell you exactly how viral two lots.com is so first of all the backlinks as you can see two lots has 27 million backlinks now to kind of put this in perspective a normal e-commerce store has anywhere between 500 to a thousand maybe 5,000 to 10,000 backlinks if they really put in a little bit of effort two lots on the other hand has 27 million backlinks so that should just let you know how powerful two lots SEO is and that was done because of Google Ads so one thing I want you to do actually is comment down below if you have any types of questions related to SEO or if you want me to make a video on how powerful SEO is when it comes to Google Ads because to be honest with you a lot of two lots efforts came from directly trying to have search engine optimized titles for shopping listings and for search ads as well but as a byproduct they actually ended up getting a lot of SEO traffic so on average per month they get about 31,000 or so average monthly traffic and as you can see there has been a big boom since 2021 for the searches done for this website but looking at their website as you can see very customized very detailed and like the last website we saw two lots actually put in a little bit of effort to buy a custom theme they might not necessarily be on Shopify but nonetheless they have a very customized page everything is neat and orderly and number one thing that they do which I mentioned in the beginning they stand out from other e-commerce brands so if you kind of look at similar other brands selling similar products they don't necessarily have a layout like this so two lot kind of stands out by just having a very unique layout their product images right here are right below with the description very neat very organized everything is as needed and that's really all you need in order to go viral now again as I mentioned earlier for this brand what they did is they number one had a very good images but also number two their SEO is very very good it's on point exactly what I recommend for the strategy when it comes to SEO but number three look at their prizes because of the prizes and the selling points of their products they are easily able to make a lot of extra revenue they're able to spend more per sale because they get more profits per sale so that's also one that you want to keep in mind it's not always just about having a very good landing page because if your product doesn't let you scale it doesn't matter how many visitors you get or how good your landing page is eventually you're gonna be not able to scale beyond a certain number just because your profit margins don't really allow you to do so but with two lots they have a lot of different products ranging from 
$500, $100, all the way up to $12,000. So this is what I mean when I say that you need to have higher profit margins, higher selling prices in 2022 and onwards. But nonetheless, Two Lots is a great kind of simplistic store, which does extremely well with Google. But this brings me to store number three. The next store, which went viral, is Herbro.com. Now, I might have said this wrong. The name doesn't really make sense, and it's actually hard for me to say it, but that did not stop this store from going viral. So first things first, covering what niche this specific store is in. It's actually in basically the air conditioner and other electronic related niches. So heating like heaters, inserts, log, fireplace logs, electric stoves, etc. So kind of home decor related products. But if we go on over to SEM Rush, we can see exactly what's going on with this website. First of all, they are starting to really blow up in the recent time period, which is why they're on my list because they are essentially going viral and it, they're going viral at a very, very crazy rate, not just because of organic traffic that they're doing or SEO, but also because of their overall marketing efforts when it comes to selling their air conditioners or when it comes to selling their other products. So with just a quick search on Google, we can see that it basically kind of mimics a normal drop shipping store. However, it's not necessarily drop shipping because they are a real brand and they have these branded products on their website. But very simplistic layout, as you can see on the top menu, it's very clean, very professional, just a white background, nothing to click on, nothing to distract a customer. I just land on the page and all I see is the main image and the, basically the title and the pricing, etc. So everything is very simply laid out. And this is what you want to keep in mind, by the way, when it comes to running an e-commerce brand in 2022, and that is simple works best. Do not try to do those fancy timers. Do not try to do anything else like a fancy trust badge that can basically distract the customer make them kind of associate the store with a scammy store or a spam store so you want to definitely stay 10 feet away from those things that you might be doing and kind of follow a similar layout to this but what I really like about this e-commerce brand is that if you notice by now it's actually a full-on Shopify store and there's nothing really crazy going on with the overall theme in fact again they might be using a full-on basic theme but that does not again stop them from really going viral because they have all the right things in place and the store just gives off this feeling of trustworthiness and simplicity which believe it or not a lot of people in 2022 and onwards are actually liking so you want to again keep this kind of theme in mind and again one universal theme that you are seeing with these viral stores is their selling prices a look at the selling price 294 dollars is the minimum air conditioner cost it goes all the way up to basically 559 dollars and that is the most expensive ac they have but if you look at all the other products they are pretty expensive as well so one of the things of going viral with google ads is also having a big enough profit margin and as you can see turbro.com does definitely have that their seo is on point they have a lot of keywords in here and it looks like they're using a lot of the google merchant center promotions which is also something i recommend that you really start looking into in order to make your brand stand out from the rest because if you see the next stores which are really doing that are amazon home depot all of the other basic stores all, all of the other competitors they don't necessarily put in as much time required to stand out of the crowd and that is where you shine the most if you end up doing what turbro.com did but nonetheless a very simple store but it's going viral so what it's doing is working and you definitely want to keep this kind of simplicity layout in mind and their overall strategy when it comes to actually launching the products of their seo in mind but nonetheless an amazing store to kind of look into to see why it's going viral how they're laying out their product images how they're doing their seo because a lot of this follows the strategies I mentioned on my videos, but use all of the Google Merchant Center options available, opportunities available. There's a lot like shopping cart experience, Google Merchant Center promotions, et cetera, et cetera. The list goes on. So you definitely don't have an excuse not to use them because as you can see, because of the things they use, they're directly now kind of getting related to Amazon because it basically looks like a big enough listing just like Amazon's or Home Depot. So in my eyes, that's very professional and it wins my business if I were in market to buy a similar product like this one. But that brings me to the next store on the list, which is basically going viral. And that is none other than ecoflow.com. Now this website, us.ecoflow.com, very similar products to what we just saw, a lot of electronic products. So solar generators, portable power stations, etc., etc. But here's the interesting thing. Again, one of the things I really like about Ecoflow, it's, it's basically using what I was just recommending in one of my previous videos, where I talked about Shopify updates, releasing a new update where it lets you pre-order things. So 
As you can see, EcoFlow has this air conditioner, which is currently available for pre-order. And I can almost guarantee you, this is one of the reasons this product and this website actually are going viral. So when I click pre-order now, it kind of takes me to the checkout page like normal, and I get to basically check out just like I would normally do. But the main difference is this, I know that this product is not gonna get shipped to me because I literally clicked on pre-order and when I hovered over it, it said it will be available in late July. So a very forward thinking brand. I really like what they did here because again, barely anybody is using the pre-order option right now with Shopify updates just released, but that virality doesn't stop there because if we go on a SEM brush, we can see just how quickly and how big of an impact EcoFlow is having on consumers. So as you can see, since about April of 2021, the chart has just been going up. But if we look at all time, there was a long period of time before this when nothing was really happening. They have been trying since 2018. So this is exactly what happens when you start to go viral. Literally overnight, a lot of people would look at this and say that this brand is an overnight success. However, that is far from the truth because they struggled for a long period of time. Now, they have 73,000 backlinks. They have 122,000 monthly visitors from search traffic that you paid. And best part of all, 200,000 people organically for free come to their website monthly. And that was done because of how they did their SEO with everything and how they laid everything out. So if we just kind of Google EcoFlow right here, we can see exactly what they're doing. So just kind of figuring out what their overall strategy is. First of all, we can see it's EcoFlow official right here. They have the trusted store badge, which means they're using the shopping cart experience program. They have reviews, very good. And they also have titles, which is search engine optimized fully. So every single thing from the image to all the way down to the trusted store badge they have everything in set and stone and because they're kind of using everything google's providing they are able to go viral and again their images are also contributing to their overall success their seo efforts all of those things so again ecoflow official they're doing everything right as you can see very very basic setup for the landing page i mean this has a little to no professionalism to it i would say a lot of the websites i've seen so far those websites that are not really doing that well have better layouts ecoflow does here but that again does not stop this brand from going viral because if you look at their overall layout it has a very different description layout and of course it's kind of slow because it's not really loading anything here because they have maybe too many images but nonetheless their descriptions are laid out very interestingly it's very custom so that's what you want to kind of follow in 2022 don't try to do the same thing as you always were doing because you're going to get the same results as you originally were or like other people who are struggling if you want to stand out of the crowd like ecoflow make a custom landing page make a pre-order now button right here available for some of your product even if it's not really for pre-order just kind of build hype around the product and of course, use all the possible programs within the Google Merchant Center. But really amazing brand to be looking into. But this brings me to the fifth brand on the list. And this brand is actually a little bit special to my heart. And that is because I directly worked with this brand. This brand was working with me under my Google Ads agency, Yoru Marketing, which if you're doing $30,000 or more in sales per month and you need a little bit of extra help scaling your e-commerce brand to the next level, go onto my website at yorumarketing.com and book a free call with me to see how we can possibly work together to scale your brand like I did with Sono right here. So let's get one thing straight. Sono is a brand established in the United Kingdom. It only serves the UK. So because I live in the US right now, unless I'm using iSearchFrom.com or a VPN, it's not going to really show me. So if we go on over to iSearchFrom.com and choose United Kingdom to just show you what kind of brand Sono really is, we can see that it is a very well established brand. These ads, all of them are something I have started back in January. If we go on over to shopping, we can see that Sono right now might not really come here because it has some big competitors and also because of a wide variety of different issues. All we can really do is just try and see if Sono does come up and it does come up right over here. So as you can see, a full on UK brand just based around all furniture related products. So D1 beds, mattresses, etc, etc. This brand was the brand which I covered in a video that I released back in January where we kind of helped it do $500,000, which is about 300,000 pounds in a single month back in January. So if you haven't watched that, be sure to check it out. But I also released a case study of this brand on my website, yoromarketing.com. 
but we can see what is going on with Sono since the beginning. So we really started working with this brand in December of 2021, early January of 2022. And since that time period, all Sono did was just blow up in terms of organic traffic. But the paid side of things were the biggest contributing factors to this overall growth. Right now, only 529 backlinks, but pay organic search traffic is growing significantly every single month. Like as you can see right now, there was a 24% increase paid search traffic. This is not fully accurate, but 7% increase and looking at the website and just going on over to the website itself, we can see how things were done differently here and exactly what I recommend to you guys about going viral with Google ads. Their reviews right here, they're real reviews by Trustpilot. They're not just random generic reviews that you kind of get from Luke's or any other random app. It's directly from Trustpilot, hence why Sono already stands out of the crowd. And just here alone, it wins half the battle. But that doesn't end right there. As you can see right here, there's three different trust related factors it says in stock delivered in five to ten working days sleep in comfort or your money back so money back guarantee hassle free assembly and removal service so all these things makes a customer want to trust so no more and they have different kinds of things like buy now pay later pay in dividends they have all these different options with custom drop down menus which i think is super cool and they have unique upsells and downsells like professional assembly is an upsell removal of old bed and mattress of course this is a real brand now like with a random e-commerce store owner trying to sell from their parents garage but everything is professionally laid out from the top all the way to the bottom so this kind of helps in a brand like this becoming very viral especially with products that are very very expensive it's 219 pounds there is nothing on this website which is cheap i mean the lowest price is around 200 pounds but nonetheless that does not stop sono from becoming viral because they follow these few key things which which you also must kind of get an idea of. You must be using all the right kind of images. You must be trying to find ways to stand out of the crowd because Sono right here is competing with some big furniture brands over in the UK. It's not easy to be doing well with furniture, but nonetheless, we made it happen because their images, their SEO done here, their pricing, everything kind of comes in hand in hand and just kind of runs as a well-oiled machine, like I mentioned previously. And also landing page helps significantly. That's why they have an above industry average conversion rate for a high ticket brand like this. But nonetheless, a really amazing brand that you should not kind of forget about because it is doing a lot of things right hence why it's doing a half a million dollars a month in sales but this brings me to the second to the last brand which i want to show you guys which is basically going viral at this moment and that brand is none other than purpleleafshop.com now by the name you might have kind of guessed what kind of e-commerce brand this is but again that does not stop this from becoming a viral shopify brand if we go on over to google we can see they have a branded search campaign going on right here there's other competitors which are potentially targeting purple leaf shops main brand keyword which is purple sheet purpleleafshop.com or just purple leaf shop right here just like that going on over to shopping we can see they have a lot of higher ticket products like outdoor umbrellas backyard accessories gazebos and all sorts of high ticket items basically for their patio so one thing you want to keep in mind is their images basically all of these are real lifestyle images but i don't think that's really a great idea for the niche they're in because i have tried selling similar products and there's a lot of other competitors with very very similar kind of images so there might be better ways to stand out of the crowd however looking at their titles search engine optimized which is good sign number one of virality number two they're using all of google merchant center's possible opportunities like having the trusted store badge have making sure they have the free delivery option if they do offer free shipping etc etc so they're doing everything right moving on to sem rush we can see that they got some steady exposure and some steady growth since last year basically from the beginning there might have been a little bit of a dip but that just kind of happens because sem rush in the recent time is not fully accurate until about a month or two passes but 4.1k backlinks not bad 11,000 organic searches with 5,100 paid search traffic with growth of 40 percent so that's really a thing you want to keep in mind but as you can see just from this alone full-on shopify store they're using some kind of upsell app right over here which is the frequent bought together upsell app but what i really like is that their overall landing page right here in this section it's very different from what you might see with a normal shopify store and their overall layout it just kind of gives off this professional 
Amazon like vibe off. And in the recent time periods, what I've noticed is that if you kind of mimic Amazon's overall layout and by mimic, I don't mean copy, never copy. Remember, keep that in mind. But kind of if you want to look a little bit similar like this brand does, it's working great for them. One thing I don't really like is that I can barely see what it says right over here. There's room for improvements, of course, but again, that does not stop this brand from going viral because they have a lot of things right like their overall description it also looks very very custom there's barely any text in it but most of it is image based so maybe you want to give that a try if you want to go viral they have reviews using a basic review app so nothing too crazy right over here but everything else is laid out as needed everything is there to go viral if we go on over to the add to cart page if we click on view cart we can see everything is again very professional this really contributes to the overall virality Clicking on sh checkout now, we can see that we are taken to a normal standard Shopify checkout section. But again, nothing too fancy really going on over here. Just everything is as normal. Everything is as you would want it to be with a successful e-commerce brand like this. But again, to make it successful, you need to make sure you are kind of taking some things from here. You're making sure your images stand out. You're making sure you're following SEO techniques. You're using all the Google Merchant Center promotions, all the opportunities, etc., and also making sure your website is fast and has a very professional layout but this brings me to the final basic e-commerce brand which is absolutely going insane with google ads and that brand is blue.com yes you heard that right blue.com there's nothing fancy about this name just blue.com right from the collection pages we can see just how unique looking this overall website is they have this very special cool little icon at the top which says 20 percent off code summer 20 they have this right here which doesn't say as to cart or view it just says the pricing itself which i think is really a unique layout but that doesn't stop there because if we go on to their product page directly we can see just how professional everything looks. There's a very nice soothing blue color to their buy now button. Their overall colors match. They have the trust palette reviews. Once again, like the last brand, which I was talking about, which I handled Google ads for also had, and their description is also very custom. As you can see, a lot of these e-commerce brands so far, you might've noticed, they are putting a lot of effort into making a custom description. And that is because custom descriptions work in 2022 and onwards. If we click on add to cart, we can see that we're taken to the side card drawer. And if you click on checkout, we're again taken to a very, very basic Shopify checkout section. So this is a Shopify store, but nonetheless, they were able to customize everything as needed. You also want to keep in mind that a lot of these products higher ticket product which makes it very easy for blue to stand out of the crowd i mean these are products which i have personally tried selling so that tells me that blue is not anything too crazy not anything too innovative it's just a normal e-commerce brand just doing everything right it is again has that trusted store badge it has all of the google merchant center promotions all of the Google Merchant Center opportunities. However, I think that a lot of improvements could be made with the SEO itself, but a lot of the products do have basic, basic SEO in place, which is a good sign. And again, not really doing full on SEO doesn't stop them from becoming viral because if we go on SEM rush, we can see that since about February of 2022, things have been starting to go up for blue and the paid search traffic is up by a lot, including organic search traffic, backlinking 17,000 backlinks, which is a good number to have. So overall, a lot of things blue is doing right, a lot of customizations, which I truly believe is one of the reasons for their growth and for their scale. But from all of this, here is one thing I want you to keep in mind and one thing I want you to take away from this video. Finding a lot of success with Google Ads, scaling with Google Ads is sort of like a collective overall approach it's not like a set and forget one thing that you do which ultimately just gives you massive growth overnight it's actually a lot of things that you do all together like the product images you choose the seo you do for the titles how you use the google merchant center opportunities in the back end if you use everything or if you use nothing how optimized your feed is how you're landing pages if it is custom or not all of these things come together like a very long chain and kind of bind onto each other and that's what gives an e-commerce brand room to grow to scale and ultimately to become a viral brand these seven brands i recommend you kind of go back in this video and kind of watch some things over to really get an idea of what you personally can be doing for your e-commerce brand to achieve a similar level of growth a similar level of scale because to be honest with you they're doing nothing too different they're doing nothing too crazy or out of this world they're just following set 
things, specific things, which a viral brand has, which is causing Google Ads to kind of be on their side and to give them that viral growth they need. And when you become viral, what essentially happens is you pay less per link click, you pay less per all of the other metrics, and you rank more in the front while paying less. Which of course, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to find out that it bleeds to a lot of growth very fast at a profitable rate and more. But if all of these things are too much for you, if it kind of seems like a big hassle, go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and book a free call with me to see how we can possibly work together to scale your e-commerce brand to the next level, especially if you're already doing around $30,000 or more. But if you find any type of value in this video, do me a quick favor and destroy that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video.